everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun bar class for you with the extra little addition of the booty band. However, if you don't have a band, don't worry because you'll still be able to enjoy the workout without it. But when you're ready to get started, we don't need the band to start so you can pop that to the side. Let's come to our chair or a steady surface, maybe a kitchen counter if you don't have a chair. But let's come to our chair. Make sure your feet are about hip distance apart in parallel. Draw your navel in, take a nice inhale, reach your arm up and over and exhale, come back through center. Then inhale, let's hinge forward from our hips fold over your legs and roll back up. Let's do that three more times. So inhale, reach over. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, hinge forward, fold over your legs and exhale, come back up. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, moving with your breath. One more. Beautiful. From here, take your toes out a little bit wider, draw your navel in, and let's squat down and up. Nice inhale and exhale really making sure that you're shifting your weight back into your heels, pressing your knees out and really drawing your navel in towards your spine. Let's do three more. And two. Last one, hold low in your squat. Take your hand behind your head with your elbow wide and let's kick our leg to the side and squat down. You kick and squat, really pointing through your toes, extending through your leg. Beautiful. Just four more. And three, two. Last one, hold your leg extended, really draw your navel in. And let's take some figure eights with our leg. You turn the knee in, then out and add a kick. So just a nice little figure eight with your leg, making sure they're nice and warm because we will be using them a lot today. Let's do two more. Last one. Good, step out into your wide second now, release your arm. We plie down and up. Nice inhale and exhale. Really make sure here that your knees are stacked over your toes. You're really drawing your navel in, keeping your spine as straight as you can. Let's do two more. Now, last one, hold low. Lift your heel and lower. So just that outside leg is going to lift and lower. Keeping as low as you can through your hips here, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Let's do four more. And three, two, and one. Hold your heel lifted. Take your arm to the side. We pivot to our chair, coming into a lunge, and then pivot open back to our plie. So you pivot, lunge, pivot, Plie, keeping that heel lifted the whole time. You've got it. Try to keep your spine super straight. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. Hold at your chair, really draw your navel in, and we just press up, lunge down. You lift and lower. And if you can, 
maybe reach your arms up to the ceiling as you come down into your lunge. Nice exhale and inhale. Four more. Three. Two. And one, hold low in your lunge, hinge forward, and let's tap our right foot in and back. So you just tap in, out, in, out. Pulling your elbows in by your waistline, generating lots of heat here. Let's do 10 more. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done. Hands come to your chair, press back, coming into a nice half fold, and then exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch your spine, look slightly up. One more, exhale, round, and inhale, arch. Beautiful job. Release your hands down to the mat and then walk your feet back and find your downward facing dog. From here, on your inhale, bend your knees, then exhale, shoot forward to your high plank. So inhale, press back, exhale, shoot forward. Inhale and exhale, really pressing through your shoulders warming up the whole entire body here let's do four more and three two last one hold in your plank and let's alternate tapping our knees to the mat you just tap and tap making sure that your shoulders are over your wrists you're drawing up through your belly button, saying hello to those abs. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Press back into your downward facing dog. Press your heels down towards the mat and take a nice deep breath. Then carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll your spine up to standing. Well done. Okay, take your chair, pop it to the other side if you need to, or just turn around, but make sure that you can still see me. And let's come to the other side. So feet are about hip distance apart, standing up tall. Inhale, reach your arm up and over. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, hinge forward from your hips, fold over your legs. And exhale, roll back up. That should feel really nice. Keep going, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hinge forward. And exhale, roll up. Two more. Moving with your breath here. And one more. Beautiful. Turn your toes out a little bit more, getting ready for your squats. So you squat down and up. Nice inhale and exhale. Really make sure that your knees are stacked over your toes. You're shifting your weight back into your heels, sending those glutes as far behind you as you can. Good job. Let's do three more. And two. Last one, hold low. Take your hand behind your head and let's kick our leg to the side and squat down. You kick and squat. Nice exhale and inhale. Really pointing through your toes, extending through your leg. Let's do four more. 
and three, two, and one. Now for my favorite, let's take those figure eights with our leg, turning your knee in, then out. This is one of my favorite little movements to really warm up our legs. Let's do three more, two, and one. Good job. Step out into your wide second, release your arm, and let's plie down and up. Nice inhale and exhale. Really feel that as you plie down, that you're actually lengthening through your spine. The crown of your head is reaching up towards the ceiling. Let's do four more. Hopefully you're starting to feel nice and warm. I know I am. Beautiful, hold the low. From here, lift that outside heel and down. You just lift and lower. Try to stay low in your hips, really bending through your knees, but keeping nice and relaxed in your shoulders. Let's do four more. Three, really controlling the lower of the heel. Last one. Now hold your heel lifted, take your arm to the side, and let's pivot to our chair, lunge, pivot, plie. So really working our legs here, finding lots of control in this movement. Let's do three more. And two. Last one. Good job. Now let's hold in our lunge at our chair. Really draw your navel in. You press up, lunge down. Press up, lunge down. Option to release your arms up to the ceiling as you come down into your lunge. Really make sure your front knee is stacked over your ankle, protecting your joints. Let's do three more. Two and one. Hinge forward. Let's tap that back foot in and out. Really pulling your elbows in by your waistline bending into your supporting leg as much as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So good. Hands to the chair. Let's walk our feet back, finding our fold over and exhale round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch. Look up. One more. Exhale round. And inhale, arch. Good job. Release your hands back down to the mat. And guess what? Walk your feet back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, shoot forward. Watch out for your chair. Inhale, bend. Exhale, shoot forward. Nice strong shoulders here. Maybe moving a little bit faster this time. Getting nice and warm, maybe even a little bit sweaty. Let's do four more. Breathe, three, two, last one. Hold in your plank, back to those knee taps, down, and down. Option this time to pull your knees in towards your chest. Just for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Press back into your downward facing dog and take a nice big sigh of relief. It's a nice big inhale. And exhale. 
Well done. Walk your hands back towards your feet and very carefully roll your spine up to standing. Okay, hopefully you're feeling nice and warm, maybe even a little sweaty like me. Let's come back to our chair. I'm just moving it over here so that there's a little bit more room. And if you have a booty band, grab that and place it around your thighs. We're coming into our thigh and glute section of class. So come to your chair. Start with your heels together and your toes turned out. Make sure that you are about arm's distance away from the chair so your fingertips are just resting. Then lift your heels high, glue your heels together and keep a soft bend through your knees. Draw your navel in, drop your tailbone and really lengthen through the crown of your head. From here, we plie down, really opening those knees and then come back up. Inhale as you plie down, exhale as you come up. Now really important in these plies that you are moving like an elevator. So you wanna keep your spine super straight. You're just using the strength of your legs to lower down and press up. Now if you have the booty band. I really want you to find that resistance on the band by pressing those knees out, squeezing your heels together. Now let's do two more. Last one, hold low in your plie. Just press your knees out and out, really squeezing your heels together for 10, nine, Eight, ouch, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here, pulse down and down, keeping those knees pressing back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, my gosh, drop your heels. Walk your feet back slightly, keep your heels together and extend your right leg back behind you. Now make sure that your right hip is slightly open, your leg is slightly turned out, but your chest and your shoulders are squared to the floor. Now you can either keep your hands on the chair or if you're able to come down onto your forearms, do that as well. Now bending into your supporting leg, draw your navel in. Let's lift our right leg up and down. Lift and lower. Nice, exhale as you lift and inhale as you lower. Now this is really going to get in to your supporting glute. So you'll find that your standing glute starts to burn a whole lot more than actually the glute of the leg that we're lifting. So if you're feeling that burn, don't worry, you're doing it right. Okay, let's do three more. Two. Last one, hold your leg lifted, little pulses just for 10 and nine. Really draw your navel in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Close your knees together. Make sure that left foot is in parallel. Let's open our right knee out and in. Ouch, lift and lower. Your left glute should be on fire, especially if you have that booty band. But if you don't have a band, I'm pretty positive you're feeling the burn as well. Okay, let's do four more. Breathe. Three, two. Now I'm so sorry, let's hold that knee open. Take little pulses for 10, nine, you've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
ouch, give that glute a little bit of a rub. Let's release the band for a moment. Step back from your chair and take some high knees to chest. You just lift and lift. This should feel like a nice little release for your glute. So enjoy this little break while it lasts. Let's do 10 more, nine, eight, really use those arms, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take a nice big inhale, exhale, hinge forward, dive over your legs. Just taking a moment to release any tension through your spine and then carefully roll back up. Okay, you guessed it. Let's grab a hold of our band again. Place it around your thighs and come back to your chair for round two. So make sure you are arms distance away from your chair. Heels are together, toes are turned out. Lift your heels high and make sure that they're glued together. Draw your navel in, spine nice and straight. We plie down and press up. Nice inhale as you plie, exhale as you press up. So really thinking of your beautiful posture here, keeping your core engaged, finding the control in this movement. Let's do three more. And two. Last one, hold low in your plie. Press those knees out and out. Squeezing your heels together as you press your knees out. Maybe bending into your knees a little bit more. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold your knees pressing back. Let's pulse down and down, just for 10, nine, you've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So good, lower your heels. Walk your feet back slightly. Let's extend our left leg back this time, keeping your hands on the chair, or if you can come down onto your forearms, do that. Okay, so right knee is bent, left leg is extended, draw your navel in. Lift the leg up and down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So really important here that as you lift your leg, that you're not arching your spine. So even think of slightly tucking your pelvis under just to avoid any arching in your lower back. Use your breath to help you. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. The leg doesn't need to go high. Let's do three more. Two and one. Hold your leg lifted, little pulses up and up. Just for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bring your bottom foot into parallel, close your knees together, and then let's open the left knee and close. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Try to stay as relaxed in your upper body as you can, keeping any tension out of your neck and your shoulders. Whew, let's do four more. This one really hurts. Three, two, and one. Hold your knee open, 10 little lifts. Let's go, you lift and lift. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. That right glute should be on fire now too. Let's release the band. Step away from your chair and return to those well-deserved high knees. Should feel really good to just kind of walk this out a little bit. Okay, just 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Well done. Okay, you will be happy to know that our standing section of glass is over and now we get to come down on to our mat. So move the chair away if you need extra space and come down to your mat. You can also place the band aside because we don't need that anymore. Okay, coming down onto your back, we're gonna do a little bit of ab work. So keep your toes together, let your knees fall open and take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Exhale, curl your head and shoulders up and inhale, lower back down. You exhale, curl, inhale, lower. Really making sure that you are closing your ribs down towards your hips as you lift your head and shoulders up. Keeping your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest to protect your neck. Good job. Let's do four more. And three. And two. Last one, hold your curl, pick your knees up, draw them close to your elbows and then lower everything back down. So exhale, everything lifts, inhale, everything lowers. To make this a little bit more challenging, you can tap your toes away from your body as you lower them down, just to really get those lower abs working a bit more. Let's do four more and three and two. Last one, hold your curl. Reach your hands by your hips. Make sure your knees are over your hips and let's reach side to side. Nice, exhale and exhale. Just for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest your head, extend your legs up to the ceiling. You can place your hands just underneath your hips if you need to for a little extra support. Really drop your lower back down into the mat and let's lower our legs straight down and up. Nice, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So really making sure you're keeping your lower back in contact with the mat as you lower your legs down and then use the strength of your abs to lift your legs up. Whew. Let's do four more. Breathe. Three, two, last one. Now from here, lift your head, lower your legs down and let's take some nice little ballet crisscrosses. You crisscross, crisscross. Maybe lower your legs a little bit more. Maybe release your arms forward for 10, nine, eight, you've got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, rest your head, hug your knees in. Whew. Okay, don't rest too much because we just have one more little set of exercises left. So come on to your hands and your knees, step back into your plank and then let's lower down on to our forearms. Interlace your fingers, really press through your shoulders, lift up through your navel. Let's lift one leg, then the other. Then lift both hips up and down. So you lift your right leg, your left leg, pike your hips up and down. Nice, exhale and exhale. You've got it guys, keep your focus. You are at the end of class, so just stay with me. Let's do three more. Nice, strong shoulders here. Two more. This is your last one. Well done. Now hold in your plank. Lift up through your navel and we finish class today with some salsa hips. So drop one hip down to the mat and then back through center. 
You've got it. Taking this at your own pace. You are almost there. Let's do just four more. Three, two, and one. Well done. Set your knees down and press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Let your forehead rest heavy on the mat here and just let all the muscles in your body completely relax, melting into your mat. Then on your next inhale, ripple your spine forward, drop your hips coming into your cobra position. Then exhale, press your hips back, returning to your child's pose. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale as you ripple your spine forward, drop your hips, roll the shoulders back. Exhale as you press back. And one more, inhale. And this time on your exhale, let's curl our toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal your heels here, alternate bending your knees. Then look up in between your hands and let's bring our right leg forward into a pigeon position. So trying to get your right leg as at a 90 degree angle. If it's not at a 90 degree angle, don't worry. Just make sure that that right foot is flexed and you're keeping your hips as square to the floor as you can. Now take a nice inhale, really lengthen through your spine. Then exhale, if it feels good for you, carefully lower down onto your forearms, finding a deeper stretch. Just really focus on your breath here, melting and relaxing into this stretch as best you can. Then lift your chest, walk your hands back. And then from here, if it feels good for you, let's bend our left knee and reach back for your left foot, carefully drawing your heel in towards your glute, keeping your chest as square to the front of your mat as you can. Then release. Take both hands flat on the mat. Curl your back toes under and press back into your downward facing dog. Let's switch sides. So take your left leg forward now, coming into your pigeon. Make sure that left foot is flexed and your hips are square to the floor. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. And exhale, walk your hands forward, coming into a deeper stretch. If that feels good for your body today. Wherever you are, just take deep breaths. Then let's lift our chest. Either stay here or if you want to take that stretch with me, bend your right knee, grab a hold of your right foot and carefully draw your heel in towards your glute. Try to keep your chest square to the front, your hips square to the floor, and just breathe. Then carefully release, and this time shift your weight onto your left hip and swing your right leg around and cross it over your left. Sitting up nice and tall, draw your right knee in towards your chest. And then let's reach our left arm across our right knee, finding our beautiful twist. 
On every inhale, find length through your spine. And on every exhale, breathe into a deeper twist. Then carefully release, let's switch legs. Cross your left over your right. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, draw your knee in towards your chest. And then take that twist, reaching your right arm across your left leg. Growing up tall on each inhale and on each exhale, breathing a little bit more into your twist. Beautiful. Carefully unwind and let's come to a cross-legged position on our mat. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Then other side, inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your right. Then come back up through center, sitting up tall. Let's finish class like always with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up. And exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this bar class and that you are feeling it in your glutes maybe a little bit later today or tomorrow. Thank you so much again, and I am wishing you all the most beautiful day ahead. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel.